In today's video, we're revisiting a set where we add error pulls. Clash of Rebellion. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In this video, we'll be opening up a Clash of Rebellion special edition. The reason we're opening this, I still need the unlimited ghost rare for my binder. Last time we opened one of these, I had two different error packs. One had a red eyes flare metal dragon ultimate rare, as well as a secret rare. Then there was another one with an ultimate rare and a secret rare as well. It was one of the craziest openings we've ever had on the channel. So I figured why not try it again? But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three warrior cards, all original old school cards. This is a DB2, so it's technically a reprint, but it's also old. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments what you want to see from this core special edition. Let's get into it. Hey, do you like fun? Well, if I got good news for you, I'm streaming on Whatnot this Thursday, April 27th. And the last two have been an absolute blast. I've sold a lot of awesome stuff, given away over $1,000 in cards. So you might want to be there to win something cool. Whatnot is an app where you can both buy and sell cards on a live marketplace. During live streams, you can do live auctions, buy it now, and even giveaways. I've personally given out over $2,000 in giveaways in my last two streams. They also have a marketplace feature where you could post things for sale even when you're not live. If you want to find my profile, just go to my link down below and search Ruxin in the app and you'll be able to find me and bookmark my next stream. And when you click that link down below for the first time, you get $15 for free to spend on the app. You can spend that $15 on me or other streamers like Simply Unlucky and Team Samurai X1. Make sure to come see the stream on April 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start it off with the first special edition. So inside, I don't remember the promos. This set actually has a lot of value cards in it, like a lot of decent secret rares, supers, ultras, stuff like that. A couple of supers there. I don't think the promos are great, though. I actually see four super rares over five bucks in this set so hopefully we'll get some nice value out of here let's see if we can make our money back i think this thing was around 250 bucks something like that so we're gonna have it pop up on the screen see if we can make all 250 dollars back i doubt it but if we pull crazy we could all right clash of rebellion here's what do we got will we pull okay we'll figure out the pack trick as we go this is a somewhat newer set came out in 2015 i believe it was the second to last set core set i should say with ghost rares ultimate rares all that different stuff in the same set so very cool, you know, going back to the glory days. DDD, Marksman, King Tell, and an ultra rare Jim, Le <laughs> Jim Knight, Lady Brilliant Diamond. I got tongue twisted just looking at the name. We have pulled this many times on Master Duel. I always get the Jim Knight stuff. So it's rubbing off on my TCG openings now. All right, starting it off with an ultra. We did the pack trick perfectly. It seems to just be three from the back. Jim Knight, ultra rare. How many foils can we pull out of this thing? 30 total packs. Completely random. You guys know this is why I like special editions. You can get crazy pulls. You can get terrible pulls. You can get average pulls. We've got the Esther and a Performer Pal, Salute Tiger. That is just a regular old rare, or common, I should say, and a rare. Now let's try this one and see what we can do. One, two, three. Will we get a Ghost Rare? Red Eyes Flare Metal. One of the best looking Ghost Rares, in my opinion. If you guys missed my binder video about my Ghost, uh, you know, Ghost stuff that we're searching for, go check it out. It was an update. It's a very, very interesting binder, I think. I think it's pretty cool. Opera, we have Mandarin dragon and uh fluffle mouse we're starting off with a super and an ultra in the first special edition that's not too bad okay next special edition we got nine to go so lots of special edition action coming up hopefully you got we've been doing i think we've done a couple of special edition openings recently if you want to see more let me know there's some older sets we can do that's not a bad card actually the ulti ultimaya tolzin or whatever it's called not bad Okay, here we go. Clash, aka Core. Core of Rebellion, aka Clash of Rebellion. One, two, three. Let's go. Will it be a ghost shirt? Can we get another error pack? That'd be pretty cool. Performer Pal, Perform a Chat Trigger. That used to be Money Aroma Jar. Mystery Shell Dragon. Human Winds. Performer Pal, Drummerilla. Ignite Squire. Magical Abductor. And a hey, Retaliating C. Hey, Maxi? No, not Maxi. Retaliating C. Two packs left in this special edition. Slow start, but we have much, much time. Much time to go. Here we go. Three from the back. Damage Juggler. Ferret Flames. Salute Tiger. Trick Clown. Aroma Garden. Mr. Shell Dragon, Human Winds, Cosmo Forerunner, and Avoid Imagination. Very nice, super rare. This card's like four bucks, so that's a great super rare already. Doing well. I don't know if the mouse was good, the uh, Fluffle Mouse, but it could have been decent. But there's a lot, probably not one of those top ones where it's like a few dollars, but Backup Rider, Balance of Judgment, there he is. Solemn Judgment. Pianissimo, we have Trick Clown, 
Aroma Garden, Toon Cyber Dragon, nice rare, and an Infernoid Tierra. This also comes in Ultimate Rare as well. Another Ultra, so we have four foils and two Special Editions. That's pretty crazy. If you want to get technical, we have eight because we have all the promos. So eight foils and two Special Editions, not bad. Let's see what we can get in the next Special Edition. It's been a good start, Ultras and Supers. Can we get one with Ghost, Ulti, Secrets? There we go. So, I mean, we've already gotten all four, so we're not going to see anything interesting in the promos. Three packs, Clash of Rebellion. Core, will you rebel and give us a Ghost Rare? Or would that be re not rebelling? Okay, Ignite Gallant. That's a Ruxin special. Tam Tam, Catal, Trick Box, Pandora, Ignite, a Cosmo Town, and a Performer Pal, Silver Claw. Okay, that is not a foil. That's just a Silver Claw. It's like Silver Fang, but instead of Fang, it's Claw, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, one, two, three, Ghost Rare. Come on, Raptor's Gust, give us some luck. Performate Stilts, Ignite, Chicken Game. That's a crazy card, I'm gonna pull that out. We have Raid Raptor, Singing Lanius, Human Winds, Formal Pal, Dromarilla, the Kamungus, the Sticky String Kaiju, and a Red Eyes Fusion. This, guys, listen to this and feel my pain. When Dark Magician was big and had Dragoon in and you could use Red Eyes Fusion and everything, this card was like 40 bucks in first ed from Core. I bought it and then they immediately reprinted it. So, so yeah, it's like $1 now, but cool card. One more pack. So another super, will we get an ultra again and just do our, our pattern of ultra and super or will we get an ulti or a ghost? Let's do backup rider, Gallant, Tam Tam, Singing Lanius. Think the same cards there. Bubble Barrier, Wavering Eyes, Trick Clown, DDD Marksman King Tell, and Super Heavy Samurai Ogre Shut Noji. That is a Synchro Super Rare. So many foils in this so far. These, if you haven't noticed, do not have guaranteed supers or any foils at all. So uh, getting this many foils is pretty crazy because they started doing guaranteed foils when they removed ghosts and ultis from the uh, you know the packs. So they basically made it so you didn't have high rarity and you also always pulled a foil so it then limited the variance of the packs a lot not for like actual good cards but just the rarities so you basically went from a pack that could have only a rare you could have a rare a super an ultra you could have an ulti a secret or a ghost it could have any of those to a pack that would always have a super and it could maybe have an ultra or a secret and that was the only differences so horrible change in my opinion i think they did realize that and changed it back to like having better stuff in the you know core sets and everything we got the trapeze and hat tricker but uh yeah not not great for the variants and fun two packs here we go we're on our fourth special edition so far we've pulled at least two foils in every single one which is pretty wild silver claw backup rider pandora margrave squire singing lanius mandragon and an ultimate rare infernoid tiara i said hey this is gonna be an ultimate rare and guess what we pulled it i don't think it's one of the best ones but still a nice card for some reason back in these sets they didn't or like this era they only had like four ultimate rares per set i don't really know why i guess because they had ghosts and secrets and everything else but it's kind of strange like they used to have like a million ultimates like different variant ultimates in the sets and like gx when they first came out and they slowly just got them you know lower and lower we have a uh, tune cyber dragon so okay we only got one foil that time but it wasn't ulti so we can't complain about that not even halfway through and we have seven foils i believe not counting the promos just pretty wild so we're doing pretty well let's hope it continues in the second half got a couple more promos there and then we got three more packs hoping to pull red eyes flare metal ghost rare so i have the other two ulti and ultra we pulled them last time for the binder we just need that ghost rare rise bell it's also never been pulled and i want to pull every ghost rare so that would be a good addition we have the uh romage bergamot and a perform pal silver claw the silver claw is back his combo with Raigeki, not quite the same as the uh silver fang but i guess it could work we have the camel lump stilts silver claw again flame eater looks like that that chain chomp okay Got the Waterfront, Trick Box, Pandora, the uh, Sticky String Kaiju, and a Dried Winds. This is like a $6 super. I'm not sure why, but hey, great super rare. We'll take it. Another nice super rare. So far, I mean, even with all the pulls, I think we're very far away from making our money back. You guys have seen it on the screen. But uh, yeah, we're probably not going to do that unless we get like multiple ghosts. We have the Drumarilla, especially with these, uh, these older Unlimited. It's just very unlikely. We have a... Still launcher. Okay, so one foil there, a pretty good one. Not enough to really save us, but we're halfway through. Eight foils. If we get it up with 16 foils, I'm going to be pretty happy. I don't know if we'll be able to keep up that pace, especially the uh, six through three. That was really insane. Okay, we got a couple more promos, three more packs. 
Clash of Rebellion, aka Core. One, two, three. Will we get something big? Return of the Red Eyes. Very cool card. Now we want to return the Red Eyes Ghost Rare to our pulls. Opera the Melodious Diva, Rise Bell, Black Dragon, Ignite Burst, and uh, Hero of the Shrine. I'm still waiting for those Xyz to pop up. Once we see Xyz, we can get really excited. One, two, three. Ferret Flames, Perform Power Salute Tiger, Ignite Paladin, Pandora, Aroma Garden, Ignite, Balance of Judgment. Toon Cyber Dragon, that's a playset, and uh, perform age damage juggler. I always want to say perform a pal, and it's not. Clash of Rebellion, this could be our first special edition, uh, mini special edition, I should say, with no foil. Let's see if we can just make it a ghost rare, just to, you know, we won't be able to see it, so we won't know it's a foil, right? Aroma Garden, Mystery Shell, Human Winds, Drumarilla, the Cosmo, and side effects. What is happening in that picture? Wow, that is interesting. All right, four to go. Nothing in that one. The fifth, the, the sixth one, I should say, was not lucky. It was not lucky at all. We didn't get... Why was this open? There we go. Two more promos. We're adding to our promo collection. Now, what will we pull? Here we go. Raid Raptors got... Ra Raptors, sorry. There's a Raid Raptor. Ignition, Bird of Paradise Lost, Aromage, Raid Raptor Return, Opera, Cosmo Town, and Ignite Gallon. We're getting on the cold streak now. Started hot. And now we're cold. We're hot, then we're cold. No yes or no. Here we go. We will pull Ghost, Aroma Jar, Chicken Game. We're going to pull that out. That's good. Raid Raptor, Singing Lanius, Human Winds, Drumarilla, Dragong, and uh, Red Eyes Fuse is just rubbing it in, man. This hurts. But maybe, just maybe, it's giving us a sign. I know that doesn't make a, a fusion is not what we're looking for, but it is a Red Eyes card. So maybe it's saying, hey, just hold on. Red Eyes is coming home. Here we go. Extinction. Black Metal Dragon, Flame Eater, Trick Clown, DDD Marksman, Kingtel, and Side Effects added again. The most interesting artwork I've ever seen. Third to last special edition. Will this be enough? Will we pull something amazing? Here we go. One, two, three. Stilts, Aroma Jar, Super Heavy Samurai, Romage, Kananga, The Flame Eater, Waterfront, Trick Box, Doraga. Oh, Dagaron's in here. There's two different kaijus. Okay, and. Cosmo, Good Witch, another Cosmo card. So there's a lot of really good cards in this era. Like Docs had a lot of crazy cards. Core has a lot of crazy cards. They're back-to-back -back sets. They're just like rares and supers in the sets. It's pretty wild. Raid Raptor, Fuzzy Lanius, Brilliant Spark is another chicken game. That's a play set. Singing Lanius, Human Winds, Drumarilla, Aromage Bergamot, and Absorb Fusion, another Ultra. So that's three Ultra Rares we've pulled. We still have not pulled a Secret. So we've pulled an Ultimate, we've pulled three Ultras, we've pulled a bunch of Supers. But is there a Secret or a Ghost to be found? Ignition Phoenix, that's a Ruxin Special. Hat Tricker. These have a very nice balance of, they don't Ruxin Special too much because they're not too slick, but they're also a little bit firm. And uh, oh, that sounds weird, but uh, uh, you have frictiony, I guess, extra buck, and Raptor's Gust. Two left. We're still holding out hope that there could be a ghost rare inside one of these. Here's our three or our two promos. Three packs. One, two, three. Oh, we got a damage card on the back. No big deal. It's just a common. It's protecting the ghost rare, right? Tam Tam, Despot 005, Opera, Waterfront, Balance of Judgment, Pianissimo, Cosmo, Slip Rider, and oh! It didn't protect the ghost, but it protected the secret rare. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. All right, that's pretty good. We did get a secret rare. Every rarity but ghost has been pulled. Two to go. And then we have one more special edition. Okay. Usually what happens is we pull Red Eyes Flare Metal, and then we get lucky and pull a higher rarity. Let's see if it can happen. Ignite Margrave, come on. Stinks it on schedule. Give us that Xyz Waterfront. Doggeran. Form of Passalute Tiger, not in that one. Okay, Clash of Rebellion, I believe in you. You can do this. You can bless us. Summon the Ghost Rare. We've done it with Star Eater recently. We pulled the Secret Rare first, and then we pulled the Ghost. Can it happen right here? Secret Blast, we give Secret Rares. Extinction on schedule, Perform Mates Trapeze. And Super Every Samurai Blowtorch, we have one final special edition. All right, our last two promos. Come on, guys. We need the Ghost Rare. Send me some luck in the comments. Let's make it happen for the binder. Ignite Paladin, Ignite Gallant, Raptor's Gust, Ignite Squire, Opera the Melodious Diva, Rise Bell, Black Metal Dragon, Magical Abductor, and Reformo Pal Camelum. Two more core packs. Core set, abbreviated as core. One, two, three. Will it happen? Ferret Flames, Damage Juggler, Samurai Blowtorch, Human Winds, 
Drumarilla, Ignite Squire, Opera the Melodious Diva, the Escher, the Frost Vassal, and Silver Claw is at it again. All right, guys, one more core pack. This is it. Will the final pack bring us insane luck? Is the final pack what we've been searching for, what we've been waiting for? Return of the Red Eyes, come on. Aroma Jar, a dragon, Shell Dragon, Human, Drumarilla, Cosmo Slip Rider, and finally we have Ignite Crusader, which is a super rare, which is kind of funny because he's a normal pendulum, but we'll take it. And this is how much we lost in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.